Hi, this is a new version of the Aeros Aeroscope, uh, a two-dimensional flight simulator in Excel based on real physics. What this model brings in new is uh, improved speed. Improved speed in 2003 or earlier, because in the new 2007-2010, I couldn't save more than maybe 5-10%. But in the old one, I, in 2003, for instance, uh, the speed is about 60% uh, better. So uh, what you have, what you can see here, is one new button called uh, Fly On Settings. Let's relaunch and click this button. So you can see it's flying now, and you don't need to use the joystick. You can use it later, but you can adjust angles. It flies by this number, by these settings. Say you can increase uh, or decrease, say decrease the stabilizer angle, make uh, the, the plane go up, or you can uh, increase the stabilizer angle and make the plane go down. Of course. Then another thing you can do is while you fly on settings, you can click on this red button and start the joystick. Now you can use the joystick too. And let's put this plane on a fairly, fairly smooth and uh, constant speed, even trajectory. Click here, freeze the, freeze the joystick and now you fly on settings again. Let's increase the, for instance, the, the wing height, height wing here, B20, uh, B21, I'm sorry. You can bring the wing up, and uh, you see the plane tends to raise its nose because the drag force on the wing creates a positive pitching momentum. Uh, you can bring it back down. Now, the opposite happens. Drag drag force on the wing creates a negative pitching momentum Let's bring the wing back very high position now you are like a paraglider or hang glider click on this button go back into mouse control and just as in a paraglider move the center of gravity uh, like in a paraglider you, the pilot will push or will pull the bar and be able to control the attitude of the craft the tendency to go down or to go up. So if the, if the pilot pulls the ba bar, he will get to the front of the airplane, like now. The hang glider will tend to fall, to dive. If he pushes the bar away, the body of the pilot goes back, you see the red point, and the hang glider goes up. Let's put it, uh, let's do some loops now. Actually, um, Let's freeze this again, bring the wing height to a reasonable position, and uh, we can increase the mass. Now actually it's 3 kilograms, we can make it 1 kilogram, the original mass. And um, you can see the plane looping, these are back loops. Or you can give control to the joystick again and fly a little bit inverted. Now we're flying inverted. Uh, you can change the, you know, all kind of parameters here. Let's say the cord stabilizer made the stabilizer very big. Or very small. Let's put it back to 12, the wing. Can make it much bigger. You see the effect on the attitude of the plane. So now it's 30 centimeter. You, we can dec decrease it to only 10 centimeter. The plane dives. It dives still. It builds enough speed, air speed, to be able to generate lift to compensate for the. For the decrease in cord wing. So let's put the wing cord back to 20 centimeter the way it was. Bring the plane in uh, upri upside up, uh, upright flight and uh, continue with this. 
some other features you have on this is of course you see on the other one on the other tutorial on the other uh, video you can adjust the pitch size the pitch will follow the plane you can adjust the trail decimation you see the decimation is uh, is high you can see much more much a, a much longer trail but uh, not so uh, not so finely defined see now the resolution there is a, the pitch the uh, trail decimation is 10 well let's bring the plane in a, a more stable flight it was too fast bring the decimation down to maybe 2 I like this better 2, 3 and uh, of course you can play with the mass of the plane with all sorts of parameters here bring the grid the grid back a much smaller pitch on the grid and uh, let's do some loops people like loops forward loop half loop back loop half loop and let's go up and down you can see the the farther back the center of gravity the more maneuverable the plane is you need to be very careful when you are so much back when the weight is so much back small movement on the airplane can make it very unstable it's very very maneuverable but unstable this is a general feature of all the airplanes you know people want stable and maneuverable airplanes no it's not possible they usually go against each other very maneuverable planes like uh, the ones used for like fight or they are um, very unstable usually controlled by a computer there are planes like this which cannot be flown by humans and they are flown by humans if they're assisted by a computer so this is it let's leave it fly like this uh, visit the site my site is uh, excelunusual.com you can download this model and other models there's a wide range of uh, posts there and uh, subjects uh, tackled uh, many many tutorials I have up to date uh, I mean to date I have um, 150 150 posts and uh, from mechanical to optical applications you know animation all sorts of things I'm planning to post about five six times a week so come over download read leave a comment and come again um, thank you for your attention